Hello Crypto Tester here. In this video I'm showing you how to get started with XDeFi Wallet which we'll probably need for the Tor Starter strategic sale. So that's the web official website xdefi.io and the download link will make you go to the Chrome Store extension which is this one which you can add to Brave or to Chrome or Chromium or any uh, Chrome compatible browser. So once you added it if you have like me like um, hidden um, extensions you can just click to show them at the top and then when you click this and you uh, click to create so the first thing it will ask you is a referral code now for example if you go our, uh, away you click a new window to copy paste it then you do see this disappeared and then you come back it's not there anymore that's already a big problem if you ask me and the solution for this is to right click extension and then you click uh, options then you see a URL here at the top you just replace options with app.html like this you can have the extension in a new tab so now if you click this one and you go away and you come back still there right so it didn't lose focus it kept the state so and the referral code for this one is a uh, tor swap just written like this so it's telling you that uh, you will get the encryption key and you have to store it safely yes not only that you will have to choose an, uh, a good password a strong password I suggest you so go to your favorite uh, password manager and generate a password for that so for example on key pass last pass and then come back so in my case I did it I copy paste it here and I create the wallet so you see here this will just create a recovery code that you should also store it securely somewhere save it in your password manager as well and then keep in mind the last four digits here uh, you can already copy them the next you paste them like this to confirm okay you have to click here to create an account and now you have to confirm the password that you chose before so I take it again from my password manager and paste it here. There you go. And it's telling you make sure that you have a backup of your wallet. So how to make a backup? This should have automatically created a file in your download folder. Which is called XT5 Backup All JSON. You see this one? If you open it, it looks like this. So you can either copy all this stuff and save it all in your password manager, or you just can save the entire file. Basically, uh, it's a text file, so you can really copy paste this or save the file. But save it because you will need this if you want to recover the wallet. So, in fact, one of the first thing I want to tell you to do is to basically destroy your wallet. Check for example your ETH address here and click it and to receive it um, you have to click add then you will see your address here you can copy paste as well somewhere because later if you destroy this you want to compare to see if it's really what you have. How to delete this you have to go here right click it go to the options as I showed you before and here you can click this one to destroy everything so to destroy your wallet clear storage and refresh confirm so now if you click this again it's empty just like the, when you installed it so now if you want to import this one click it browse you can select your file and this didn't work you see because uh, again it lost focus and took, I have to get started again so that's why you have to know this trick you have to go here click options and replace options with app so like this you can do it properly you click choose your file you have to insert the password if you insert the wrong password you think oh, I can do a new one it doesn't work because you are importing a file that is encrypted so you need to put the password for that file and then it works probably it created again another JSON file you see XT5 wallet 
number one here it's the same it will the content will be a bit different but it's the same wallet uh, basically so now to, sh to see if this is really what I wanted so I click here to add and ethereum I see this address here which is the same I saw before so I really restore the wallet so this is really sanity check because if you lose your computer or something and your computer um, has a damage you must have a backup of the of the file you must have a backup of the password and then you can restore it so save it securely now you saw the trick to, to use this in a new tab another trick you wanna use or you wanna know is the setting to not inject this in, a, in an existing website for example if you go to Uniswap and you're a MetaMask user like me then here it's already coming this one it, it wants to inject the XD5 wallet instead of my MetaMask so that's a problem because I don't want this to happen so how do you prevent this this we can close so you do like this there is an option here so you will made it maybe tempted to click this one so it should work already so if it doesn't what you have to do is to go here and go into top settings and remove the injection in the first two options so ethereum and metamask here so if now i refresh the page i don't get the problem of the injection via xd5 i can use metamask so if i click this one i can click metamask and it works if still that doesn't work then you can also besides these two options here these two switches you can also do this one so this will disable all of them the problem is that as soon as you enable this you have to check here because it, it re enabled all of them so you have to again put these two away like this all right so that's how you use uh, xd5 so to receive funds on xd5 you click on the plus here and add so click and then you choose what you want to receive so the network ethereum or for example bitcoin this is a multi chain wallet so you can receive many uh, type of assets on different blockchains so binance chain so bnb you see then you can have a bsc so the same address as the ethereum one you have also litecoin and bitcoin cash and of course tor chain so if you want to receive funds from binance you have to use binance chain here so because if you want to receive rune for example from binance you have to use this address here and i suggest you also to transfer some bnb not only rune because you have to pay gas fees via bnb okay you can connect this to um, tor swap so have to make sure that the injection at the top is not completely disabled it's, it's enabled okay you click connect you choose x define here Th then you get like a, a dialogue like this you choose your account you can create multiple accounts if you want just like in ethereum and then, then you click you click connect and this didn't work it used metamask let's try again again as I said maybe the option here in this case should have been on so let's refresh the page and you click connect and you choose again connect xd5 wallet this time it worked you see wallet here and you should also see the same addresses that you see before so when you send to Binance chain some BNB and some rune then you will have here a button to um, a yellow button to convert the rune in native rune native rune is the rune under Tor chain okay so if you want to participate in the Tor starter strategic sale you will have to send all the some Ethereum so make sure to receive at least 0.02 Ethereum so around 30 40 bucks of Ethereum and convert your rune that you want to invest in native rune and then you are ready to go hope this video helped you if so please give it a like subscribe and see you in the next video bye bye